known to people in the Zimbabweans, and he was a very famous man. So this caused an uproar, and the dentist was so persecuted and flooded with hate mail that he disappeared, he went into hiding, and people trashed his house or the outside of it. And two, he's got two houses filled with trophies, filled with all these amazing African animals, hundreds of them, inside and outside. And I thought just thinking about this, and thinking, well, this dentist went out hunting wild animals, but he's not the only one. And so uh, Facebook and all these other things on the internet were suddenly filled with other people who'd been out hunting. Two young women, and one of them in this shocking picture is standing with this big smirk on her face beside this beautiful old male giraffe that she's shot or taken. We call it taking. And what she says is, nobody will ever understand how much I respect these animals that I shoot and the emotional feeling that I get when I kill one. So I thought I'd better write about this, because it isn't just the dentist. And now he came out of hiding yesterday and went back to his practice. I don't know how he was greeted, but what he said was, what he said before, I didn't realize that the lion had a name, and if I had known he had a name, I wouldn't have taken him. But this is what's so absurd. Just because we give one particular lion a name, does that make him any different from these other lions? No, it doesn't. They have their place in these societies, like the other wild animals that are shot for their trophies. And so the whole thing, the only perhaps good that's come out of it is it has really raised in people's minds, why are these people going out killing these incredible animals, many of whom are now in danger? And even some of them are being bred in game farms, and people can go and shoot them behind the wire fence, so they're perfectly safe, and then they can take the trophy back with them. So it's very encouraging to see that many, many of the main airlines today have banned the carrying of uh, endangered species trophies from Africa. So that was the story about Cecil.